so it's the uh, evening of October the 4th. Uh, just got settled in here, it's about 4 o'clock. Um, I'm set up in a creek bottom tonight. Um, it's got a lot of acorns, a lot of um, fresh rubs. And it's pretty hot out tonight, so I'm hoping they'll, they'll come up this creek bottom to uh, head out to the destination field. <clears throat> But uh, I'll sit here till dark and hope it don't get eaten alive by too many mosquitoes. So uh, stick with me and we'll see what happens. business killed it well when I killed it I uh, spooked off a group of deer um, they ran down to the bottom I figured they would go over and get water at the pond and then come up the other side and so I decided to sit in this stand here um, right by the field the winds not perfect for it blowing right into the field but I figured I was thinking you know they'd circle around and come out on, on the downwind side, or on the upwind side, I guess, whatever. Um, and hopefully I can get air in a big old doe before before they get to where they'd smell me. Before I even get set up, I look over um, to where I just bumped them. And where I walked in, and there's two deer out there. The one's young, for sure. 
The other one I think is pretty young too. And so I was quick to do my interview before they all come out in the field. And I heard something behind me. Go to look back there. Next thing I know, there's two young ones out in front of me. So it seems like they're all around me. They obviously did not run that far, so um, this stand is pretty tough to get away with any movement, so I don't pretty much gonna have to get lucky. little bit high um, and it was just a touch forward so I think it locked the shoulder blades up it definitely went double longs too because I mean I mean it was 30 seconds she was done so um, I still got about 18 to 20 gear in the field right now so um, I stick it out till dark 